So I've had this idea for a while where I create a free to play account and work towards one to become a member. And I've tried it across multiple accounts on both versions of the games, but the grinds just got tedious and it just got boring because I had no end goal. But recently it hit me, why don't I try and become the ultimate completionist? Complete the collection log and all that comes with it. So here is Light Vanged, a level 3 straight from Tutorial Island, working their way towards becoming a member and becoming the collector. And here we go, if we talk to the cook, ask him about K. Okay. Da, 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 da. Always happy to help. And cook system down, French cooking. Level four. And time to claim the fancy boots over the fighting ones, of course. And Prince Sally Rescue done. Free quest won 700 coins. With my 10k in hand and free entry to Ulkarid, I thought it would be best to train my combat stats and increase my cash stack at the same time. I was killing cows and tanning the highs and then selling it on the GE. The next step was to get most of the quests out of the way and work on those 32 quest points for Dragon Slayer. There is Restless Ghost done for 1k 125 prayer. It should give us a level 15. Uh, combat level 20 now. There we go. And there we go, Vampire Slayer is done for 4k attack points of XP and free quest points. That should give us oh, 26 attacks. Not bad. Combat level 22 now. And. After this weird cutscene, and it's back, and here we go, the reward well, quest is complete, I'm just a chicken, four, okay, four quest points and 300 gold coins. A hit point level while getting the free Goblin Mouse for Goblin Disponency. And here we go, after this dialogue, okay, it's not crashed. Um, and yeah, there we go, that's Sheep Shearer done, 450 XP in crafting and 60 coins, giving us level 3, yeah, level 3. And here we go, Derek's quest is done, 13k mining, uh, 10 mining. There's Goblin Supremacy done, 20... No, 200 crafting experience, 5 quest points, gold bar. And 5 crafting. Let's do Knight Sword. And here is the Knight Sword. Giving 29 smithing from level 1. Obviously, we get spare. Um, wrong button. Ta da! Now, Witch's Potion. And drinking from the cauldron. It's Witch's Potion done. Level 4 magic. And there's Imkratcher done. Amulet of Accuracy, 875 magic. Uh, level 10 now. Mr. Lame Mystery done. Some gems and 600 crafting. Level 9. And here's the Shield of Arrow complete. Romeo and Juliet for 5 quest points. Pirate Treasure down for a chest. Yeah, easier way to travel. Ring, coins, emerald. And here's Black Knight Fortress. The next goal I had in mind was to start increasing my total level to 500 so I could access the 500 total worlds, meaning I had less competition when killing creatures and collecting stuff, etc. etc. And with Demon Slayer and Dragon Slayer both left to complete, I decided it's probably a good idea to increase my defence from 5, so I have better armour and don't get hit as hard. 
and here we go with the demon slain that's demon slayer complete three quest points and the silver light now what we've got is two more free to play quests left i think i'm going to do the corsair's curse first no oh, i'm being attacked by dark wizard run 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 okay i'm fine uh, yeah, as I was saying, I think I'll do Corsair's Curse first. I've never done it before, so this should be fun. Then I'll leave Dragon Slayer for last. Now, I'm assuming this is the end of the quest. This is telling me. Yeah, there we go. Corsair Curse complete. Two quest points, access to the cave, I assume, and the bank and other stuff. So, I think that's the best money maker in. Free to play, possibly? Yeah, so now all we need to do left is Dragon Slayer, but first I'm going to get 33 magic, make some more money to train to get 33 some magic, and get some stats up. With Dragon Slayer in sight, along with the desired room plate body of every free to play player's dream, I decided it's probably a good idea to get 33 magic, because why would I pay 10k for a goblin for a map case? And I thought I'd get 40 attack for the rune skimmy, and along with 35 defense and strength, which will give me 40 upon completion of the quest, and I can wear the rune play buddy from the star. Here we are approaching Cranor. Oh, and a nice cutscene. And yeah, almost there. Oh. 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 And you're dead. Yeah, here we go. And here we go. Elvarg should start. Oh god, that hit 10. No, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> There's Elvarg dead. Let's just decapitate him. Body of a mighty dragon. There we go. First attempt. I mean, still got a fair amount of food left. Let's get out of here. And here we go. Just give the head here. We can now wield rune plate bodies. 18k.65 strength and defense. Two quest points. That's all free to play quests done. That should give us 40 strength and defense, I think, if I worked it out right. Yep, 40 strength. Oh, 41 defense. That's not bad. And now we can equip rune. All free to play quests done. And now I have no idea what to do. What combat are we? Let's check that as well. 49. With Dragon Slayer complete and the Rune Plate body unlocked, the best melee free to play gear in the game, I thought it's best to start actively working towards that bond. But for that, I thought I need to train to my range a bit and unlock the free protection press so I could try my luck at Obor for the sticky drops. I ended up losing the footage of me actually fighting Obor in the end, so here's a picture of Obor and my character fighting him. It's not the greatest. First Obor, 54 Lawrence. With Obor draining more supplies than what I was actually making, causing me to make a loss doing him, I thought it'd be best just to round my combat stats up a bit, and then start training my range to a higher level so I could possibly try out a new money maker which I've not tried yet. Depending how good my RNG is, it could be very rewarding. I ended up spending many hours over the course of many months killing the Ogresses for the rune drops and getting myself 55 magic to Alchem in the process. It was extremely AFK, allowing me to do other things and play other accounts, but in the end, I managed to make enough money for the bond after many months of playing the account on and off. The bond has been bought. I've just done that, didn't mean to. Oh. Boom. Deposit. I don't know what to do. Cool. With the bond achieved and only 40k to the name, excluding miscellaneous stuff, the collection log is looking pretty bare. Uh, I don't really know where anything is. There, more or less. 
And so now to activate it. Bond pouch. Redeem. 14 days. It's taking a while. Fourteen days, and now to do some quests.